Hello, you welcome. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Hello, people. How are you today? I mean, tonight, actually. It's, it's How are you, people? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? How was it? Was it good? Half, half. Half, half? <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. Sometimes it's like, like super nice as we are expecting and sometimes it's not like that, right? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can imagine. Hi, good evening. Ah, oh, man, time flies. Just imagine we are about to finish the second week. It means one. Good evening, uh, teacher. Good evening, miss. Yeah, I mean, by tomorrow we're finishing that. All right, just give me one second. I'm just fixing up the attendance list. Just to start over. Ah, man. And more people are getting connected. That's, that's really cool. So welcome back to this new week. We are starting, uh, according to the module, uh, you know, like tonight we are going to have the class number, you know, like number nine, right? So by tomorrow we will be finishing, if nothing happens, of course, we will be finishing uh, the second week. So for the ones who haven't done, you know, like their own work from six to 10 plus uh, the midterm exam, I advise you guys to, to, to try to, to, to do that before tomorrow, okay? Or tomorrow, so we don't have any problem with that. So I'm glad to have you here again, starting a new week. So I'm going to start with, you know, like the attendance list. Just to start over. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Okay, cool. You're there. All right, there you go. Augusto Cesar. Nah, no here. Right? Carlos Ernesto. I guess he hasn't shown up yet. Elizabeth Joanna. Present. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Miss. Now you're okay? Or kind of okay? Flu is gone? Or half and half? <laughs> so. So, so. Ah, okay. That's cool. At least you can talk now. That's nice. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Evelyn Jamilet. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening. Uh, da, da, okay, Evelyn is there. Okay, nice. Let me see. I'm going to put Carlos in here because he's there. Freddy Celiseo. Gracias, teacher. Right on time, Freddy. Cool. Right on time. <laughs> okay, Freddy Ernesto. You there, Freddy? Okay, he has never participated. I guess he's working. It is Daniela. Okay, so she's not here yet. Jacqueline Janet. Okay, not here yet. Uh, Karim Janet. Karim, are you there? I guess you are there, Karim, but you, I, I guess you have problems with the audio because what I can see is that you got your microphone on, but I don't listen to you. So try to fix that. Please. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. 
Y justamente a mencionar la ida, mire, Liliana Laura. Presente, ya. Ok, ok, cool. María Isabel. Oh, no here yet. Ok, María Leticia. Presente, ya. Ok, excelente. Marvin Oswaldo. So Marvin is not here yet. Where is Marvin? Marvin. Sure. I am you are there. Okay. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let's move. Rafael Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Let's move. Rudy Alexander. Okay, so he has not yet connected yet. Uh, Sonia Elizabeth. Okay, so she's not here yet. Wilber Francisco. Present teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Let's move. Uh, and the last one, Wilson Arnaldo, which is not here as always. All right, so... Let's start with the content that we're going to be discussing for the rest of the night. Um, as I told you back uh, uh, last week, the last class that we were doing, uh, that class will last two days. <laughs> the same thing. One, it was mostly related to grammar. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Who's this? Hi, ah, Isabel. Teacher. Yes, Isabel. Uh, I... Okay, I guess I guess you try to see something. Hmm. Give me one second, guys. What happened with this thing? Jesus Christ, this is weird. Okay, good. So, I mean, it's, it's right here. Okay, cool. Good evening, Rudy. Welcome. Okay, good. So, let's go straight to what we're going to be uh, doing tonight, people. But before doing uh, that, let's bring up a little bit about what we were discussing last class, because it's really important to bring up what we were doing on Friday night in order to start with tonight's class. Why? Because it's going to be the same topic, the one that we're going to be practicing for the rest of the class tonight. So, all right, guys, what do you remember from last class? What was the topic that we were discussing? Can somebody tell me or have any idea, any, uh, you know, memory about the topic I can share here right now? What was the name of the topic that we were doing? The name of the topic is how to use, how to, and how to. Oh, okay, good. How to use after? Um, yeah, I need to need to. Need to. Oh, okay. Need there to. you go. How to use have to and how to use need to. Okay, good. In what situations can I use have to? According to what we were practicing, of course. When do we use have mm. to? It's obligation when when it's obligation. Mm, okay. It is when we show obligation about something. Mm, okay. Good. So who said that? It was Rafa, right? Okay, Rafa. Choose yes. one of your choose one of your classmates, Rafa. Mira esta. Sorry, uh, repeat please. Help me choose one of your classmates. Pick up one classmate. Give me one name. 
a um, Freddy. Who's Freddy? Where is Freddy? I mean, I'm oh, sorry, Freddy. Ah, Freddy. Uh, Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Ah, ah Freddy's. Ah, yeah, I mean, okay. Freddy's, can you please give me one example using have to as obligation? Yes. Okay, uh, personality. The example, the example is I have to wear uniform in my work. Okay, cool. I had to wear a uniform in my work. Okay, good. Thank you, Freddy. Now, can you please uh, uh, choose another classmate? Yes, uh, Maria Leticia. Maria Leticia. Hi, Maria. You were here last Friday, right? You were in class last Friday, Maria Leticia? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Cool. <laughs> Could you please give me an example using third person using have to of course in third person or singular whatever you want to call it and the obligation yeah yeah showing an obligation let's make let's make it better let's make it better letty uh tell me one possible obligation that elizabeth might have in her house <laughs> Give me an example of an obligation that probably Elizabeth might have in her house. The first thing that you got to remember, uh, Leticia, is that what is what is the form of the verb uh, when you say interperson? Is it have? Have. Um, what is have the form to? of third? Ah, okay, good. Has. So, has. You said it. Has to. Okay, now, give me one example using Elizabeth in context. Um, Elizabeth uh -huh. has to. Wake, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, uh, okay, the first thing in the morning, right, okay, to good, go to work. Ah, okay, cool, very good, Elizabeth has to wake up early to go to work, okay, very good, there you go, thank you, Leticia, you see, you could do it. Okay, there you go. Uh, now, choose one of your classmates, Leticia. Okay, go and pick one. Uh, what do you Lynn, remember it was last class? Jamilet Molina. Okay. Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, when do we use need to? Use need to when Ajá. necessity. No recuerdo cómo se dice. Ah, uh, to show necessity. Yes, necessity. Okay, we use need to to show or express necessity. Okay, there you go. Cool. She was one of your classmates. Okay. Wilbur. Okay, Wilbur. Con la mente la llamé. He was like, choose me, choose me, choose me. Elíame, elíame. Okay, good. All right, Wilbur, can you please give me one example about a necessity that you might have? Um, I have to um, wash my car. 
Uh, but that's that's not a necessity, Wilbur. <laughs> it's a, it's a, that's kind of obligations. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> necesidad era. Yeah, we're using me too. I, using uh, me too. I need to uh, wash uh, the clothes. I need to wash the clothes. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Now, in that case, it becomes a necessity. There you go. Okay, okay. cool. Help me out choosing the last person. Uh, El Elizabeth Catota. Ah, okay. There you go. Hi, Elizabeth. I need to rest more. <clears throat> uh, why do you need to rest more? Mm -hmm. Why? Sleeping. <laughs> Por el trabajo. Está exigiendo bastante últimamente. Really? What time do you start ¿Cómo? working? What time do you start working? A las cinco, uh, no, no, no. That's the time when you finish. But the time when you start in the morning, what time? A las siete. From seven to five. Mm -hmm. uh, de siete a cinco. Yes. Jesus, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Okay. From seven to five. Nah, okay. My hair. That's cool. This is like, it, 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 you're happening like me. I mean, this is my worst day at work. Just imagine. Yesterday night on, on Saturday and yesterday, I finished working exactly at 12.20 in the morning. <laughs> and I had to really? woke up at five to go to work. <laughs> Oh, just imagine it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sleeping uh, an, really I'm a sleeping an average of uh, 12 uh, one two three four like like four hours Michelle, but I'm always teaching uh no no uh, the, the work on weekends afternoons is not about teaching it's something else yeah something different okay yeah Okay, cool. Ah, but let, let's go straight to the point, Elizabeth. Uh, that was our first person uh, example, but I, I want you to give me a third person example using, uh, let me see, Liliana as example. What, what do you think it would be a necessity for Liliana? Uh, no, no, no. Van a hacer un ejemplo de usted, Liliana. Okay. Yes. Así que relax todavía. No, no, no. No va a ser su turno. Dice. Podría ser Liliana has to cocinar. ¿Cómo se uh, Cooking. 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 I actually cook. Cooking is a, a with ing form. Cook. Yes. But but in that case, it, what I'm what I'm asking for you to do is a is a is an example that shows a necessity, Elizabeth. That's obligation. Mm, no sé, sería... Mm, no Cocinar es una obligación. Depending on what on, on, depending on depending on your point of view. <laughs> As I said, depending on your point of view. Mm -hmm. If you say, oh my God, I had to cook for my family. So that's an obligation. But if yeah. you say, oh man, I'm hungry. I need to cook. So that's a necessity. You see, depending okay. on the situation. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Podría ser. Liliana needs to take her son to a school. Mm, okay. All right. Very good. Actually, the, 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 the example that you gave previously it was kind of correct. The only thing is that you use, you use have, have, have to instead of uh, need to. 
because you you will say like Liliana needs to cook the dinner for for herself and her family, for example, right? And that becomes a necessity. Okay, there you go. So remember, those are the ways how we can use those two structures to show necessity and to show obligation. Remember, have to is to show obligation and the third form is has to, okay? Has to. Okay. On the other side, need to with no S is mostly for first person and plurals and needs with S, needs to is mostly for third person, right? Third person. Remember when we're talking about third person, we're talking about he, she, it, and singular nouns, right? Good. Put this into context. I'm, uh, I'm going to show up a, present, a short presentation with some extra examples that I got here. And uh, we're going to see a little bit of these two structures, but in questions. We have been uh, discussing these two structures, mostly in positive statements. But now I want to show you how to create questions using the structure, all right? So I'm gonna see that like right now, give me one second. Where is my presentation? Jesus Christ, I am in this one. Okay, uh, can you see my presentation? Yes, it's uh, yes. Okay. Nice. Let's go over it. Uh, as I said, tonight we are going to continue with these two structures, talking about these two structures, have to and need to, but now it's going to be focused mostly on practice, okay? On practice. Let's go over that. What's the most relevant that we got for the rest of the class? We got the review from the previous topic, something that we just finished with the examples that you were providing. And then uh, we're going to see a couple of more examples using have to and need to, just for you to bring up the ideas. We're going to go into a practice. We're going to go uh, over some exercises in the manual. And that's pretty much. Now, have to or has to. Remember, have to is mostly used with I, you, we, they, and plural nouns. As to, on the other side, is mostly used with he, she, it, and singular nouns. Remember that. We got some examples, of course. And let's go over that. Anna, help me out reading the first one, please. This is just... Okay, just, uh, teacher. Uh -huh. I have to finish my homework. Ah, okay, very good. I have to finish my homework. So in this case, what are we expressing? We're expressing a kind of obligation in this case, right? Give me one second, guys. One of your classmates is trying to, 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 to enter to the meeting. Jesus Christ. Give me one second. Jesus. Oh my God. Provides an update. Okay, good. Let's go. Uh, who else? Liliana? Help me out reading the second one, please. You have it to check your email. Okay, you have, have to check your email. Repeat again, please. You have to check your email. Perfect. Thank you, Liliana. Very good. Okay, so we're expressing in that case an obligation, okay? Remember that. All right, Miguel, you haven't participated, Miguel. You're very quiet tonight. Help me out reading that one. <laughs> she has to prepare, prepare the new material. Material. Okay, material. There you go. Thank you, mister. 
So she has to prepare the new material. So you see, in this case, the structure changes, right? Why? Because we are talking about a third person in here. So now it's not have to, it's has to, okay? Cool, let's go. Mm -hmm. Rudy, help me out reading this one. She has to go to the meeting. Okay, very good. He has to go to the meeting. So you see, so in that case, uh, we kept up the same structure, right? Using the third form of the verb, okay? Remember that in this kind of structures, we have to respect the correct structure that goes on first, second, third, and plurals. There you go. So this is just for you to kind of remind or remember in this case, how to use these phrases, okay? Especially have to, all right, and has to. Now, on the other side. Hey, Chair. Yes? She has to go to the doctor. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a, another one. Yeah. She has to okay. go to the doctor. That might be another one. Mm -hmm. um, remember, remember that you can substitute uh, the pronouns and put proper nouns if you want. For example, uh, the, the example that you gave, she has to go to the doctor. We can say, uh, what? Carmina has to go to the doctor. So you see, now I am replacing the she and putting a proper noun. And it is uh, still correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to get up early tomorrow. Okay. I mean, that's another one. I have to get up early tomorrow. There you go. So you see, okay. you are using the structure, right? Okay. You're using the structure. And you can use that even with inanimated objects. For example, check this out. Okay, you see? In this case, we are not talking about a person. We are talking about what? A car. So you see? And in that case, I'm using has to. Why am I using has to? Because I'm talking about only one car. So that becomes singular, all right? So in that case, we can not only use it with people. We can use it with an animated objects as well, all right? Depending should, on, on the amount. In this case, is it. Exactly. It it might, the, third, the third person is it. Exactly. So if you, if you don't want to use the word car, you can replace the word car by and putting it. And there's no oh. problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's, it's something with no life. Okay. It's not alive. All right. Cool. Let's go. Oops, I'm gonna eliminate this thing. Let's move. Okay, have to, but now use it in questions. And uh, you know, in every structure that we generally use, uh, there is one grammar part or grammar structure that we need to follow. Like in this case, this is the correct structure form to create questions using this. Okay, and if you take a look in there, guys, we have WH word. Do you know what is a WH word? What, when, um, where, 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 when, when, why. Exactly, why? exactly. I'm going to put it in here for the ones who don't remember that. For example, 
everything that you uh the you sort of or everything that, that goes with a wh word it, it's been represented by what what time where oh jesus where when who why and uh, let's put where. which and even what kind of you see all of them are known like wh words okay um, and when do we use them ah okay cool we use them to create open or information questions right so every time you see wh word over there that's what it means okay a wh word Nice. So we got a WH word plus an auxiliary verb. Okay? Plus auxiliary verb. Y cuando hablo de un auxiliary verb, ¿qué se les viene a la, a la mente? ¿Cuál creen que es? Das? There you go. Exactly. El auxiliary verb que eh, vamos a poner ahí es do para hacer pre eh, preguntas en primera persona o does for third person questions or singular questions, okay? That's correct. Plus what? Plus subject. ¿Qué es el subject in this case? A subject puede ser un nombre de persona, un pronombre like I, you, he, she, we, you, they, or, you know, like, as, as I said before, a, a proper noun, right? A proper noun. And then we got have to or has to. Well, well. Teacher, Plus, verb, uh huh, can include um, how in WH question, yes, yeah, we can include how, okay, depending on the type of uh, question that you want to ask, yeah, it is possible, okay, it is possible. There you go, so plus have to or has to. Plus verb, remember that in this case, this verb is the main verb in the sen in the question. And complement. Okay, cool. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I can ignore the VH word in this structure. Or only VH word? Uh not actually. I, I will I will answer to that question when I um uh, show the first example and I will let you know why. Give me one second. Okay. Take a look at this example. We have one question example using the structure. And what's the first thing that you take a look at it? Look at this. Where? So this represents the WH word. Where? Do represents the auxiliary verb over here. You represents the subject have to is the structure, it is the verb, the verb that we have here, and at lunch represents the complement. So in here we have the structure, right? Good. Where do you have to eat at lunch? What do I want to uh, uh, say in this sentence? Or what am I trying to say in this sentence? Where do you have to eat at lunch? Literally, I'm saying, ¿Dónde tienes que comer en, en el almuerzo? Let's suppose you are working in, 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 in an office, right? So you might say, I have to eat in my office, for example. So this one is basically an open question. Why is it an open question? Because take a look at this. We have an open answer, right? So when you have an open answer, it, it will depend on, on where you said that, right? That's the way how you will put it, okay? Good, so Marvin, help me reading this answer, please. Okay. <clears throat>
I have to eat in a restaurant on lunch. Okay, thank you, mister. Thank you. Okay, good. I have to eat in a restaurant at lunch. ¿Dónde exactamente respondemos lo que estamos preguntando? En ese caso, acá, miren. Esta es la respuesta que estamos buscando con esa pregunta. Esta pequeña parte. Recuerden que preguntas con where, lo que nos están solicitando o lo que, eh, a lo que queremos llegar es a esto, a un lugar. Esa es la respuesta. On the place. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. The place. All right. So I had to eat in a restaurant at lunch. Ahora bien, respondiendo a su pregunta, Carlos. ¿Será que puedo remover? Okay. Take this out. Supongamos que no tengo... Oh, oops, give me one second. Supongamos que acá... Yo desaparezco acá, esta parte, y vengo acá y remuevo la pregunta y la reformulo. O más bien, elimino la WS Word que tengo yo ahí. Y solo pongo, do you have to eat at lunch? All right. Si pueden observar, Acá arriba tengo, where do you have to eat at lunch? ¿Dónde tienes que comer en el, en el almuerzo? Ahora acá, yo no estoy preguntando dónde. Estoy preguntando, ¿tienes que comer en el almuerzo? Y ven, ya la lógica de la pregunta cambia por completo. ¿Cómo se le conoce a este tipo de preguntas? Se les conoce como, yes or no, no questions en la cual son preguntas cerradas que solo se pueden responder con yes and no. And that's it. Right? So, what okay. is the pro appropriate answer to these questions? Okay, like this. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Estas son las dos únicas formas en las que podemos responder a esta pregunta. O, si usted lo quiere hacer más largo. Yes, I do. I have to eat at lunch. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have to eat at lunch. You see? Estas son las únicas maneras en que podemos responder a, esta, a este tipo de preguntas sin una WS Word. All right. Y se les conoce como Yes, No Questions. ¿Por qué Yes, No Questions? Porque su respuesta puede ser Yes o No. Y that's it. Aquí no se puede dar, dar ningún otro tipo de respuesta que no sea esta. It is like close question. Exactly. That's an, it's a close question in okay. which you just got two choices. Yes or not. And that's it. Okay. Thank you. There you go. O sea, si ve, si se puede, you can ask questions like this, but it's just to something, just, just to confirm something. All right? Aquí ya solo es para confirmar algo, si sí o no. And that's it. There you go. So I'm going to eliminate that and let's go with the other one. Okay, let's move. Hi, Sonia. Welcome. You were the one who got problems with the, with the connection, right? Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Ay, no, fue un fracaso. No pude del teléfono. Really? Oh, my sí. God. Aha. Uh -huh. Probably. Bueno. Yeah, probably que me dice que no sé qué cosa al código, no sé qué es lo que no lo va a saber. Anyway, pero ya estoy aquí de mal right. humor, pero estoy aquí. <risa> <risa> Una de dos, o es el internet o posiblemente sea una actualización de Zoom. 
cuando hay actualización de Zoom y no se, no, no, o sea, no se actualiza la app, es un problema enorme. A veces deja de funcionar la app. Es un huevo de avestruz. Uh, ¿What? Es un huevo de avestruz. Richard, pero aquí no me veo en el teléfono. Yo sí la veo. ¿A dónde, te, a dónde le doy para verme? <ríe> o la usted lo veo. No, dele, eh, en una de las ventanitas que tiene ahí, puede marcar para que, lo, para que se vea la presentación y aparte de la presentación pueda extender la ventanita y ver los demás compañeros. Ah, la pizarrita. No, no es ahí. Ay, pero... Bueno, no, déjeme lo hacer y lo voy a ver a usted toda la noche, mi amor. Oh, oh my God. Ok. Let's continue, better. Let's continue. Ok. Ok. Uh, uh, help me a reading. I, help me a reading. Uh -huh. What time does he have to be at home? Ok. Cool. What time does he have to be at home, right? ¿A qué hora tiene que estar él en casa? Jesus, como cuando nos pone en condición, right? Tienes que estar a las de tantas he horas. Does, he does at 6 p.m. <laughs> no, I, actually, in there, recuerden, ahí siempre vamos a eliminar el das. All right? Um, ahí se okay. elimina. Solo puede ir en la pregunta. Remember that, right? What time does he have to be at home? Uh, ya la estructura have, all right, es con have. Ya no es has. ¿Por qué? Um, Porque tenemos el auxiliar does. Remember that, okay? Ahora bien, what happened in the answer? Sí. Like uh, so, in the answer is like, Since we don't have any kind of auxiliary verb, we got as to. So in that case, the structure is the one that is modified, right? It has to be at home at 7 p.m. There you go. So are we, are we kind of understanding this? Are we guys understanding how questions with have to work? Yes, I understand. Okay, cool. What about the rest one? ¿Hay alguien que tenga alguna duda cómo funcionan este tipo de estructuras en pregunta? Something that might not be clear for you. This is the time for you to ask people. Pueden preguntar. Teacher, yo no entiendo nada. ¿Podría, por lo, ¿podría repetir, por favor? Ok, cool. All right, I'll, I'll check this out. What we have been doing is just to uh, basically be when have to and has to in question forms, ok? In questions. And this is the structure. Esta es la estructura que por lo general utilizamos para crear preguntas usando el have to y has to que estuvimos practicando el viernes pasado. Ok, so in here tenemos una serie de ejemplos que básicamente eh, digamos tenemos explícito la estructura que tenemos acá. Por ejemplo, el WH word es representado por cualquier WH word, por ejemplo, what, what time, where, when, Why, you know, all of them. Y luego el auxiliary verb que siempre tiene que ir en este tipo de preguntas es ya sea do para primeras personas o plurales y does para terceras personas. Y luego el subject que puede ser cualquier pronombre o nombre de persona, right? Y luego have to, que es la estructura que básicamente no es una obligación. Y luego el verbo principal, right, que puede ser cualquier verbo dependiendo de lo que esté preguntando, más el complemento. Y tenemos preguntas como, where do you have to eat at lunch? ¿Dónde tienes que comer en el almuerzo? So, in this case, básicamente estamos 
denotando cierto grado de obligación, o sea, de dónde se nos es permitido comer. There you go. Al igual que la pregunta que estaba leyendo usted. What time does, si veía como es una tercera persona, por eso ya ponemos does, porque aquí tenemos he. What time does he have to be at home? ¿A qué horas tiene que estar él en casa? So, desde que decimos tiene que estar, ya estamos denotando qué? Estamos denotando obligación. All right? Obligación. Ok. For example, Sonia. Voy a poner otro ejemplo un tanto más sencillo y para que vayamos ya de una vez comprendiendo un poco más. Listen, si yo le pregunto a Sonia esto, check this out. What do you have to do tomorrow? Answer this question, Sonia. What do you have to do tomorrow? ¿Qué me diría usted? Primero que nada, comprendemos la pregunta. What do you have to do tomorrow? Este es el verbo principal, mire. Do. ¿Qué, qué tienes que hacer? Mañana. Eso le estoy preguntando. ¿Qué tienes que hacer mañana? What do you have to do tomorrow? So, ¿qué estamos denotando acá? Cierto grado de obligación, que sí o sí usted tiene que cumplir. So, what will be your answer, Sonia? I have, I have to... Ajá. Work. Okay. Yes. I have to work. I have to work. Le podemos poner el last time expression. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. En este tipo de preguntas con what, listen, siempre y cuando tengamos el verbo do como verbo principal, podemos ser un tanto flexibles y colocar el verbo que indique la acción que nosotros vamos a hacer, ¿ok? ¿Cómo así? Va, miren, este verbo tiene la flexibilidad que si yo le pregunto a cualquiera de ustedes, si la pregunta es general para todos, what do you guys have to do tomorrow? Posiblemente Rafa me va a decir, I have to go to work. Elizabeth, I have to clean the house. Leticia, I have to take the bus. Marvin, por ejemplo, I have to ride my motorcycle. So you see, ahí el verbo va a cambiar dependiendo de la acción que usted va a desarrollar. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque la pregunta acá es un tanto, por así decirlo, abierta a que dependiendo de la actividad que usted vaya a hacer, Así es el verbo que usted me va a mencionar. No está obligado a responderme con do. Como en mm. otras preguntas. Okay? ¿Ok? Como en otras preguntas. Como por ejemplo acá. Where do you have to eat at lunch? I have to eat. Si ¿Sí ve, tengo que usar el mismo verbo principal. Ya no puedo poner I have to clean. Porque no tendría sentido la respuesta. No okay. sé si me voy a entender. Ok. Yes, sí, sí. Are we getting into this? Entonces, en cambio, si el verbo principal es do, ahí sí, ahí el verbo va a cambiar dependiendo de la actividad o acción que usted vaya a hacer. Ok. So, this is the way how it works. Entonces, es la forma en cómo funciona este tipo de estructura. Ok. So, in this case, uh, Elizabeth told me. I have to work tomorrow. Tenemos work y lo reemplazamos con do. Ok, like that. Gotta finish. Uh, for example, alguien me puede decir, I have to pay my bills. You see? Ah, I mean, tengo que pagar mis recibos. You see? Ya no ponemos el do. A menos que indiquemos una acción que 
uh, que, se, que sea necesario do. Por ejemplo, I have to do the laundry. Ahí sí. Right? Ahí la, como tengo que lavar ropa. So you see? Entonces ahí sí ya podemos usar do como verbo principal. Good. Are we Richard. understanding? Ajá. Yes. What does rent play mean? Please write it down. Rent late? Um, okay, okay. Write it down. <laughs> so I rent, can... rent late? You mean... Mm, rent late. Uh, write it down, yeah. I mean, it's like that. Uh, imagine that is when the pay of... Ah, no, rent late. Rent late, yes. No, rent late in that case is like when you pay your your rent in a late form. Let's suppose the payment day is for today and you pay tomorrow. Um, I don't know, teacher. Uh, how? It's like a, a pay like a bill, something like that? Or, or... No, rent late is like when you're hiring something, like when you está alquilando una, par una casa, un cuarto, whatever. Okay. Ah, okay. And, and the payday is today. Okay? okay. But you cannot pay today and you pay tomorrow. So that's okay. a rent late. Okay. Ah, okay. En la cual a usted le va a que... hacer como un, un tarde, un laboratorio por pagar tarde. Ah, Eso okay. literal es pagar, renta, la, pagar la renta de, de, tardía. Ok, ok. okay right? Thank you. That's rent late. Ok. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes from that word. Good. Any other question related to this? Do you guys understand what we are doing? Uh, teacher, to fly. Uh -huh. uh, you can put uh, an example about uh, WH word which. Ah, well, which is a, give me yes. one second. I okay. will give you an extra example using which, which is not really kind of used in here, but give me one second. Okay. Uh, teacher, I, I hear this word. Mm -hmm. And in two cases, uh, which one and which ones or, or something with S is like a singular and plural. Which can be singular or plural? Yes, which one and which ones? Ah, uh, yeah, but in this case, uh, I will I will show you how to use them. Give me one second. I'm going to okay. explain this. Listen, con which, eh, and I'm going to say this in Spanish for everybody to, to, to catch up the idea. Listen, which, tanto which como la expresión, what kind of, que significa qué tipo de o qué clase de, digamos que tienen una estructura un poquito diferente al principio, porque justo después de which, Right after which, nosotros necesitamos un nombre. Pero ese nombre no es como Rafael o like uh, Marvin. No, el nombre de lo que se va a hablar. ¿Ok? En este caso, si pueden ver esta pregunta que tengo acá, which car? Right after ¿Cuál? which, yo tengo la palabra car. Uh -huh. Which car? Y luego comienza el auxiliar. Este do es el auxiliar. Y luego el you, que sería el subject, have to, la estructura, drive, el verbo, y tomorrow como una time expression o complement. Which car do you have to drive tomorrow? ¿Qué carro o cuál carro tienes que manejar mañana? So you see, entonces acá lo que okay. estamos buscando después de which es que haya un noun, un nombre. Ok. okay? Good. Another example. O, o ustedes pueden dar una respuesta como I have to drive uh, what? 
A red car. Eh, en este caso, inclusive, podemos dar el modelo del carro. Okay. No la marca, el modelo. Deme un modelo. A un... A... A... Which one? Toyota, Nisa. Truck. Sedan. Un sedan. Un Corolla. El no, Corolla. No, no es. Una... Ya, 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 ya. Ya es marca. Ajá. Ah, no. Es modelo. El Toyota es la marca. Ah, ah, Toyota. Ah, yes. Exactly. Ah, sí. A Corolla. I had to drive a Corolla. So, you see? So, in here... And here, what do we have? I had to drive a Corolla. Entonces, en este tipo de respuestas acá, podemos dar la inclusión. Si estamos hablando de carros, los modelos de los carros. Si estamos hablando de, what? Eh, something else. Computadoras, por ejemplo. Ahí la marca, más que todo, sería. All right. Eh, ahora bien. Esto es con which. OK. Questions con which. Por lo general, siempre recuerden, después de which, Vamos a colocar sobre lo que se va a hablar. Ok, ahora, Carlos mencionó algo interesante sobre which one y which ones. Ok, good. Ok. Check this out. Supongamos, Carlos, en un contexto que nosotros estamos en una... Que... Supongamos que estamos en una, en una, en una venta de carros. ¿Ok? Ok. Tengo una venta de carros. Y yo le digo, hey, Carlos, listen, I like that car. Esta es una expresión, of course. I which like one? that car. Y usted me pregunte, which one? You see? Yes, yes. Which one? El one hace representación de qué? Del carro. Oh, ok. ¿Cuál? Okay. ¿Cuál carro? Ok. Which okay. one? El one hace representación a la palabra car. Which one? ¿Cuál? Y yo o le digo que... that red car. Over there. Y, 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 y es válido, teacher, poner which car. Eh, sí, solo que digamos que en un inglés hablado nadie le va a decir, I mean, which car? No, which one? Ah, ok. Sencillo. Es okay. inclusive más fácil de... de, de Which de, one? Digamos, para ser más, flu, más fluido. Ok. okay. Sí, uh, inclusive en español, casi nadie. Si alguien le dice, hey, me gusta ese carro. Por lo general, nosotros lo primero es, ah, ¿cuál? No decimos, Ajá. ah, ¿cuál carro? Ajá, muy largo. Exactly. Which Exacto. one? Solo con which one and the scent. Okay. Es, es, okay. Siempre va a reemplazar al objeto al que nos estamos exactly. refiriendo. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Puede ser persona o no. En sí. algunos casos pues, se pueden con personas también. Exactly. Okay. Aunque casi con personas viene siendo who. Aunque en un inglés informal, digamos, bien lo podemos hacer con which. No hay ningún problema. Ok. Ok. Yeah, man. There you go. Por ejemplo, en un contexto usando personas, podemos poner nombres o profesiones. ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, supongamos que estaban varios profesores de inglés. Ok. Y alguien de ustedes dice, I mean, That, check this out. Give me one second. That is our teacher. That is our teacher. I mean, ese es nuestro profesor. Which one? <laughs> y alguien le dice, exactly. Which one? ¿Cuál? So you see, en este contexto acá, sí podemos usar personas, ok, de manera correcta. Ok, sin salirnos mucho de lo, de lo, info, de lo formal, por así decirlo. Right? Ok. No meramente mencionar el nombre, sino más bien una profesión. Ok, la profesión. Which one? Ok, ahí sí. Ya si usáramos 
ya si usáramos un nombre, sería diferente. Como les digo, ya, ya lo más apropiado, por ejemplo, si dice, Amen, that is our teacher. Y acá le pongo, Juan, that is our teacher, Juan. Que alguien diga, ah, por lo general, ya no se usaría el which one. Ok. Sino más bien, por lo general, las personas suelen usar who. 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 Exacto. Casi siempre va a ser. Sería okay. esto. Exacto. Ahora bien. Check this out. Eso era en singular. Ahora lo tenemos en plural. ¿Y sí? Vamos a cambiar esta otra. Le vamos a poner those. Those are our teachers. Esos son nuestros profesores. Ah, y alguien pregunte. Which ones? Aquí sí ya se le pone S a la, al, al one. ¿Por qué? Porque ya estamos hablando de varios. Which ones? Uh, ok. Ones. So you see? Entonces ahí no es which el que se pluraliza, sino la palabra one. Se le pone la S. All right. Ok. Thank okay. you. There you go. Uh, hasta acá, ¿alguna pregunta? No los he confundido, ¿verdad? Sí, sure. <laughs> Si los he confundido, díganme. No, that's who, who's means. Who? who who's? Who, who, uh, w, H, O, S, E. Who's es más que todo para posesivo. ¿No vieron ese who's uh, en el módulo 1? Por lo general, ah. yo suelo enseñar ese who's en módulo 1. ¿De quién, verdad? Exactly. Cuando usamos... De hecho, tendrían que haber sido la, la... Let me see. Creo que la segunda o la tercera clase de módulo 1. En los possessive nouns. Like my father's car. Whose yes, car is that? Yes, my father's yes. car. Right. El, ese whose solo se puede usar para posesivos. Ok. Yeah, solo para posesivos. Por ejemplo... Si yo digo, uh, let me see. Uh, whose cell phone is this? Ah, y alguien diga, I mean, that's uh, Wilbur's cell phone. So you see? Ese whose es para decir de quién, right? Representing a uh, basically possessive. possessive. Exactly. Okay. Esos los van a ver más adelante también. All right. They, ya un poquito más detenido eso se los pasa así but it's cool to bring that up in here acá no sé no, no, lo, no lo voy a mencionar porque sería que mira sus compañeros <ríe> ya yeah, aparte de que pues con el have to como que no, no concuerda mucho that's why good but going back to what we were doing would you guys have any question with the topic that we were discussing? How to create questions using have to? ¿Estamos bien? ¿Con la creación de preguntas usando have to? Yes. Bien. Quiero ver yes. si eso es cierto. Ok, y como ustedes no me preguntan, así que yo les voy a pedir que ustedes me elaboren una pregunta. En primera persona. Cuando les digo en primera persona es cuando me van a usar el you, recuerden, ok, you, tú, quiero que me hagan una pregunta, simplemente cuando la terminen, díganme, teacher, I finished, y ahí queda, hasta que el último termine, luego vamos a hacer una pequeña dinámica con esto, ok, cool, let's do it, write down one question, you see what in first person. In first person. I don't mind. Isabel, are you there, Isabel? Isabel, 
Yes, teacher. Solamente que estoy en el carro, entonces no tengo mi manual acá. Entonces solo voy escuchando la clase y practicando lo que están hablando. Ajá. Teacher, la pregunta que me Finish, hacer una... teacher. Ok, cool. Uh, ¿Liliana? Sí, la... De una pregunta de una persona, ¿cómo es? Eh, ya, yeah, una pregunta en primera persona. Usando you. Okay. Y el have to, of course. Mm -hmm. I finished it, teacher. Ok, perfect, thank you. Another rest when you finish. Finish teacher. Okay. Finish teacher. Perfect. Finish teacher. Very good. What happened to Sonia and Nicola? Error in the matrix. Finish the chest. Okay, we can hear it. Who else is finished? Okay, I guess everybody has already finished. So let's just start over. Wilbur, you finished? Yes, teacher. Nice. Letty, you finished? Yes. Perfect. Wilbur, I want you to ask the questions that you have to Leticia. Leticia, give me an answer. Leticia, Leticia, where do you have to dance on Saturday? Okay, good, good. Okay, Leticia, where do you have to dance on Saturday? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, I can't. come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Where do you have to dance on Saturday? Ahí no es un no, sino donde. Ah. <laughs> en escapatoria. <laughs> en ningún lugar. En the drugstore. <laughs> yeah. For... In the clinic. Para traer clientes. <laughs> ok. En la farmacia. En la farmacia. Sí, pero no la respuesta completa. I have. Bueno, vamos a usar eso, pero no voy a bailar ahí. Ya. I have to. Farmacia. I have to dance. Le pedí el verso. I had to thank uh, in my house. In my in house. house. In your house. Ah, okay, good, good. <laughs> Cambia la farmacia por la casa. Okay, cool. There you go. Thank you, Wilbur, for the question. Now, Leti, read your question and Rafael will answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have to get up early tomorrow. Do you, do you? Oh. Esa do sería una yes no question, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, I'm going to take it as valid. Repeat the question. Okay. Uh, do you have to get up 
early tomorrow. Okay. Good. Yes, I do. It was easy for you, Rafa. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, okay, teacher. Well, no, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> now, Rafa, read yours and Carlos will answer. Okay. Carlos, where do you play soccer? Where do you, ah, sorry. Carlos, where do you have to play soccer on Saturday? Okay. Um, I have to play soccer in, the, in San Salvador. Okay, there you go. I have to play soccer in San Salvador. There you go. Thank you, Rafa. Now, Carlos, read yours. Anna, answer. Okay. Um, what do you have to search in the internet? Search. 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 Repeat, please. Okay. Uh, what do you have to search in the internet? Uh, search, search means buscar in the internet. Ah. Yes, oh. yes. Cuando solo busco. ¿Qué tienes que buscar en internet? Okay. What? What do you have to search in the internet? Always. You oh, get the sure. microphone now. The microphone, Anna. Um, I have to um, search, search. Así. Search. search internet. Uh, uh, the class. Now. Mm -hmm. The class, my daughter. My daughter's class. Uh -huh. I have to search my daughter's class. You said class. Uh -huh. ah. Class. Okay. I had to search my daughter's class. Topic the... relation with, with, class. with English? Huh? Topic relation with English. Okay, a topic related to English. Related to English. Re related, okay. Exactly. Okay, good. Uh -huh. That's another one. That's nice. Thank you, Carlos, for your question. Now, Anna, okay. read your question and... Uh, Marvin? Usando, um, answer. Yeah. yeah. Usando el you. Yeah. What Sandra time? Blue. What time uh, do you have to in the work? Debo suponer que quiere decir a qué horas eh, eh, tienes que estar en el trabajo. Marvin, pay attention. La pregunta es para usted, Marvin. Eh, le what falta time? el verbo. Le falta el verbo, Carmina. Lea. Ajá. What time do you have to in the work? Ahí, antes de in the work, le falta el verbo. Uh, go. Mm, no. Uh, no. What el time verbo, do you have to? El verbo sería be, de estar en el trabajo. Ah, oh, sí, be. Be in the work. Yeah, exactly. ¿Sí? Exactly. Okay, what time do you have to be in the work? There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. What time do you have to be in the work? ¿Qué hora tiene que estar en el trabajo? By seven o'clock. Ajá, pero la respuesta completa, mister. I... I do... Oh, come on. No, sin el do. I have to... I have to seven o'clock in the work. I have to be... I has to be by seven o'clock. Okay. <coughs> At seven o'clock in the work. Yes. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Marvin. Eh, ¿Hizo su pregunta? Eh, ¿La escribió? ¿No? Ah, you, dime un segundo. ¿Usted qué me dijo que estaba? Ah, ya me yo de one that I say. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. Ooh, Liliana, you got yours? Hello. 
Let's go over, Liliana. Ask that question to Evelyn. Where, 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 where you will go in the evening? Betsy. Please. Where, uh -huh. where do, you, do you will? Do you? Do you? Recordemos que vamos a seguir la estructura, vaya, mire. Sí, 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 sí. Vamos a crear juntos, ¿ok? Where do you Ajá. will go in the evening? Quitémosle el will y dejémosla así, mire. Where do you... Y aquí va el verbo, el, el, la estructura, mire. Have to go in the evening. Ya le queda así, mire. Ok. Ok. Porque es que si ponemos will ya por obligación. Tan <risa> dirás. Sí, es que se me va a confundir. Esa es una estructura, se puede usar, pero es un poquito más complicado. Así que okay. no nos compliquemos por ahora. Ok. Y sería así. Ok, cool. Evelyn. I have to. Go. Mm -hmm. Ahora solo menciona el lugar. Mm. Porque es en la noche, ¿verdad? Tarde. Yeah. Mm. Ah, sí, de las. <ríe> Casi no salgo en la noche. <ríe> Supongamos que saliera. ¿A dónde saliera? Mm. Ah, ¿Cómo se dice cenar? Sí. ¿O tiene que ser el nombre de un lugar? I have to go... ¿Disco? To a restaurant. Ok. I have to go to restaurant. The restaurant. That's it. Yeah, we like that. Okay. All right, there's no complication. Okay, cool. Thank you, Liliana. Now, Evelyn, ask Sonia, Elizabeth. Okay. Sonia, when do you have to go to buy at supermarket? Okay. I have to by the supermarket. Ah, no, me digo. Bueno. Repeat the, the question, please. Okay. When do you have to go go to buy at supermarket? I have a go I have to buy the supermarket. I have to go to go to buy the supermarket uh, on Saturday. On oh, Saturday, very good. Yeah, maybe possible. Thank you, Evelyn. Now, Sonia, read your question in Elizabeth. Ya la computadora, teacher. Ah, perfect. Gracias, Pablo. Por eso la veo bien happy. Es que ya puedo estar comiendo. Eh, eh, why do you have to drink soda? No sirve, teacher, ¿ok? Ah, no, me das ok. Why do you have to drink soda? Ok. ¿Cómo dijo? Le pregunto, repita el nombre. Why do you have to drink soda? Why do you have to drink soda? <laughs> That's kind of easy, Elizabeth. Simplemente vamos a dar una razón ahí. 
repita parte del... ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo va a iniciar la, la respuesta? A ver. Because. Y no. Yeah, I drink soda because I like it. Y el Recuerde que tenemos que usar el have to. I have to drink soda because I like it. Elizabeth me dijo I have to. Um, have to. Va, mira aquí. Aquí le estoy ayudando. I have to. Ajá. I have to I drink soda because I like it. O solo I have to drink soda. Sí, así de bien. Sí, lo puede poner, mire. Because I like to. I have to drink soda because I like to. Yes, porque me gusta. Exactly. There you go. Okay, nice. Teacher dice, ¿se pone por qué rica? Uh, because it's delicious. <coughs> delicious. Mm. Exactly, porque aquí solo eliminamos esta parte. ¿Qué ponemos? Because it is delicious. Mm, ok. Y ahí el because va, no va al inicio. No. Okay. Vamos que va a ir formal completa tiene que ir así. Si usted lo okay. de un modo informal, sí, because it's delicious. Y ahí muere. Ok. Ya. Yeah. There you go. Elizabeth, read your question. Miguel, answer. What do you what do you do on weekends? Repeat, please. What do you do on weekends? Um, has to, Elizabeth. Porque ahí literal está preguntando qué haces los fines de semana, pero no suena como que por obligación tiene que ser. Entonces sería al principio el has to. No, después del, del you. Ahí vamos What a incluir. Has, has ¿Ah? to. What no, do you no. have to? No, no has to. Have to. Have, have to. to. What do you have to on weekends? El verbo. You. Do. Le quedaría así, mire. Usted, tengo, te, no sé si es que yo le, le escuché mal, pero yo escuché que usted le dijo, What do you do? ¿Estoy mal o así lo, así lo escribió? Sí. Vaya, aquí lo único que tiene que hacer usted es agregarle el oh. have to. Y ya está. Ahorita lo estaba escribiendo así por si no se me entendía muy bien. Ah, ok. Y ahí te quieres de seguir la estructura, ¿va? La, la que dio al principio. Eh, dependiendo de, la, de, de, de lo que él haga en el fin de semana, así va a ser el verbo que va a usar. Ok. Pero lo único que va a cambiar ahí es el verbo, sí. Okay. Uh, I have to to go uh, on supermarket. To the supermarket. Go to the supermarket. Okay. I have to go to the supermarket. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, Miguel, read yours and uh, Freddy's will answer. Okay. Uh, where do you where do you have to buy your clothes? Mm. 
repeat, please. Where do you have to buy your clothes? I have to I have to buy in in <laughs> in Plaza <laughs> Centro <laughs> in Chima. <Okay. laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I have to buy the clothes and then whatever you want to buy, right? Okay, there you go. Thank you, Brady. I will have said premium center, man. Yes. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Miguel. Now, uh, Freddy, read your question and Isabel. Okay, Isabel. When do you have to go to the meeting? Repeat, please. When do you have to go to the meeting? I have a... Uh... Where do you have to go to a meeting? A ver si tiene que ir a una reunión. Isabel, are you there? Ah, perdón, es que tenía en silencio el micrófono. No me di cuenta. Es que estoy en el teléfono, lo siento. Lo siento. I have to... Eh, ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Uh, when do you have to go to the meeting? To the meetings. I have to... And... The meetings. Sería, uh, se puede decir, teacher, I have to the meetings in Monday. Estaría mal dicho. Eh, pero le dijeron where, creo yo. Es que, ajá, es que no, no entendí bien la. La pregunta. Uh, no, eh, eh, when. Ah, when. When. Monday okay. on Monday. Cool, vamos bien entonces. ¿Estaría bien así? Ok. Pero le falta el verbo, no me dijo el verbo. El verbo. Ay. Go. <ríe> okay. No. Sí. <ríe> no sé. Ah, ok. There you go. I have to go. I have to go meeting. To a and, meeting. And Sunday. And Sunday. Lo dije mal. No, that's okay. Pero ¿quién va a reunir? Thank you, Isabel. Thank you. Sorry. Hay que estar viendo el teléfono, la pone de mal humor como Elizabeth. No, no es eso, es que no, 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 no he puesto la atención que debería en la clase. Ajá. Lo siento. Ajá. Ajá. Okay. Sí, pero sí tengo mi pregunta y creo que la hice bien. There you go, that's the idea. Okay. Let me... Let Where do you... Hey, give me one second, relax, relax. Rudy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, mister, let's go. Answer okay. that question. Go ahead. Uh, where do you have to go on, on vacation? On vacation. I have to go on vacation at the beach. Okay, good. There you go. Uh, Karim, are you there, Karim? Could you fix your uh, 
audio issues. Karim. I guess Karim is not there. All right. Rudy, ask that question to Wilbur. Yeah. Wilbur solo can Okay. When did you have to wash your clothes? Feel bad. Se nos fue también. Pero ya sé quién nos va a contestar. Liliana. Liliana solo preguntó. Ya me preguntó. Repite again, Rudy. Okay. When do you have to wash your clothes? When do you have to wash your clothes? Oh, clothes. No, clothes. no. Tiene que lavar su ropa. Clothes. Uh -huh. Clothes. Sería, uh, I have it too. I have it. Uh -huh. yeah. ¿Cómo dice? ¿Se lava ropa? ¿Cómo dice? Él dijo wash uh -huh. your clothes. Entonces su caso sería wash my clothes. Uh, wash my clothes. And uh, laundry is... Uh, laundry. Lavadora, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> Give me one second. Rudy, it was where or when? When. Ah, when, when. No, ahí es cuando, Liliana. Cuando. Vaya. Um... On Monday, on Friday, on Saturday, on weekend, on weekday. Mañana. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow. In the morning. Tomorrow morning, okay, very good. Va, miren, les voy a explicar algo. Wash your clothes. Vaya, uh, cuando ustedes usan esto, wash your clothes o wash my clothes, es cuando ustedes lavan a mano su ropa. Ok, en un lavandero, en whatever you do with your own hand. ¿Y cuando es la lavadora? Laundry. Do the, do the laundry. Ahí ya es do the laundry. Ok. Ya okay. eso de do the laundry. Do the laundry ya es lavar en la lavadora. Okay. That, is, that is the way how uh, we use it. No, you won't. Oh, I guess, guess you're okay with that. Now, let's go, guys. Let's go into the manual. Because we haven't touched the manual for a while. I want you to go to page 26 in the manual. Page 26. Let's go okay. over to this conversation. You remember last class we didn't practice this conversation, right? Okay, let's go over this. And it says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. It says, this is a conversation between John and Anne. Yeah, we haven't practiced this. Okay, it says, pay attention. Give me one second. Is everybody. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Is there something you need to do tomorrow? And says, yes, actually. Yes, actually. I need to call some clients. 
I need to call some clients. And you? And you? It says, John, well, well, I have to reschedule. I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. It says, John, yes, I have to provide. I have to provide important information to some customers important information to some customers and says that sounds interesting that sounds interesting there you go cool all right guys any question with this vocabulary ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con este vocabulario? Teacher. Yes. What does res rescue, no, reschedule means? Reschedule. Reschedule es cuando algo ya se ha cancelado y tiene que volver a, a programarlo. Esto es reprogramar. Reprogramar. Ok. okay. Reschedule. Yeah, reschedule. Nice. Something else, people? Jesus, I need coffee. Uh -huh. Customer. Customer means clientes. Provide. Provide means proveer. Or dar. Okay. Yeah. Ah, someone is in her house already. Okay. Teacher. Yes. What do you say, aduana, in English? Custom. 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 Yeah. It's a similar with, with customer. Kind of similar. The only thing is that in that case is custom. Says custom. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Custom. Mm -hmm. After M, S only. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Are you okay, teacher? Eh, a little bit of <clears throat> normal. A lot of work. Yeah, este día es así, es resaca de sábado y domingo. Okay. Pero, pero no resaca porque piensan que, que ando de zumba, sino más bien porque solo duermo cuatro horas. Yeah. Ok, cool. Uh, exactly. All right, guys. Any question? Hmm. Any additional question? No? Ok, cool. No. Perfecto. Se me van a ir a practicar. Yes. Solo la pronunciación al final. Por favor. Esta última. Yes, yes. That sounds. Aquí es con A. Sounds interesting. Aquí no es sounds, ¿ok? Es sound. Sounds. That sounds interesting. There you go. Ah, eso suena interesante. Ok. Cool. Nos vamos a ir a trabajar en esta parte, guys. Esto ya lo hicimos la vez pasada. All right, so. Yeah, I mean, I need you to practice this. And I want you to come back in here because I want to listen to you guys. Good. I'm going to stop sharing this. And uh, just to confirm, uh, Freddy Lopez, creo que no. Creo que él todavía está trabajando, nunca me contesta. Miguel, are you there, Miguel? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. 
Daniela, are you there? Daniela, are you there or you're working? Sure. I think she's not there. Yeah. Que es cuando usted dice, o cuando alguien está hablando y dice means, o sea, es como, se menciona mucho el, el means. No sé really? si me... I don't remember. Yeah. I mean, really? cuando dicen I mean. Mean es como querer decir algo. Como cuando como se retracta how... de algo, como cuando se retracta de algo y dice, ah, pues, quiero decir esto, esto y esto. Ah, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. exactly. I want to say the blah, exactly, blah, blah. exactly oh, okay. that that way. Really? I got that. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I didn't know what page. Okay, cool. It's page 26. Okay, cool. So, Rudy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Nice. Entonces vamos a dejar out of practice a Daniela Karim por problemas de audio. She, she, she cannot listen. Pero la voy a unir a un breakout room y Freddy. Ok, cool. Marvin, are you okay for a practice o solamente como oyente? Solo como oyente, techo. Uy, ok, cool. Ya, 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 se, ya se la robotizó la, la voz. Miguel, primero, Elizabeth, primero fue Miguel, luego Elizabeth y ahora Marvin. Jesus. Creo que tenemos que ocupar mascarilla aquí. <risa> <risa> Espero no ser yo el próximo porque yo sí me pongo grave. Let me see. Vamos okay. a enviarlos a Sorry. trabajar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8. Give me one second, los voy a asignar de forma manual para que no tengamos inconvenientes. Chu, 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 el care load. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ, give me one second, please. Okay, let's go to work. See you here in 10 minutes. There are some people I haven't put in here. I need to recheck this. Go over, Rafa. I'm here. Okay. Dele aceptar ahí. Y necesito redirigir a Elizabeth. Solo que no sé dónde ponerla. Give me one second. Give me one second, Elizabeth. Le voy a buscar un espacio acá. Vamos para el número dos. Ok, cool. El aceptar. One and Churuy. Ok, tienen exactamente 10 minutos. Luego volvemos acá para la general practice, ok. A la sala principal. Les haré llegar un mensaje para cuando regrese. Please. Ok, es John. Uh, I am John. Uh, okay. Ann, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call 
some clients and you? Well, I have to... Um, reschedule... Reschedule. 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 Uh, reschedule to meetings for tomorrow. And uh, they were concerned to... Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, good, good. Hagamos un pequeño así. Carrusel acá, right? Carlos with Liliana, then Liliana with Elizabeth, then Elizabeth finishing with Carlos, okay? Okay. Um, nice. In this moment, I, I am young. And who will be uh, uh, Liliana? Yeah. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Information from customers. That sounds interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Okay. Yes, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some client and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay. Go again. <laughs> Dale, tú eres John. Okay. You are John. And is there something you to new you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. I'm John, okay? And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call. Sounds interesting. Oye, yo, yo parezco ahí con usted. What? Y ese error en la Matrix que tiene es... Sonia. Me... <risa> no sé qué pasó después de la actualización. Me quedo. Le juro que aparecía no, la cara a... de Wilber yo, en su. Yo, me, me, me te... ahí estoy. <risa> <¿Qué>? <risa> Como que, la, What como, happened? como que la quiere fusionar con Wilbur. <risa> Ahora la mía también aparece. What? What? What's wrong with that? No sé qué pasa. No, ha de ser la actualización. Es que la actualización a veces sale con una de sus cosas medio turbias. Nos, nos espían, nos espían. <risa> Vaya, la voy a pagar porque no sé si está Vaya. Oh, okay, yeah. John and Anne. Okay, okay. Uh, Anne, I there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you. Well, I. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Uh, one, moment, one, moment, one moment, one moment, one moment, one oh. moment. Eh, oh. Vamos a repetir esa yeah. frase, eh, Leti, pero en ese Diga. caso es reschedule. Repita, reschedule. Reschedule. Re exactly. Reschedule. Ah. Reschedule. No con I K, have... no con K, sino reschedule. 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 Re 
Exactly. I, I have to reschedule. To Res reschedule. I have to reschedule. Schedule. Jill. Es, es, esa pronunciación no, no en chul, sino jill. Reschedule. 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 Como con Y. Exactly. Solo que el acento en medio. Reschedule. Reschedule. Exactly. Ahí está. Esa es la palabra. Ok. Uh, voy de nuevo, pero. Well, I have to reschedule the meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to res reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Ahora, cambiemos si quiere. Okay. Mire, pues se enojaba el piso. Sí, no se quería bajar del carro para no tener... No quería bajarse del carro para no participar. De verdad, sí, de verdad. Ya se acaba el día ya. ¿Sabe pero, pero le digo a mire, no me lo, no me lo no me lo va a creer, pero esa, esa carita que está tiene así como que yo quiero que se acabe esto ya. Así estaba ayer, yo tipo 10 de la noche y tenía que salir hasta las 12. Oh my God. No. Ay, las últimas dos horas está fueron matando. frustrantes. Uy. Ya, yeah, I mean, Pero I feel you. Créanme que la entiendo. Anyways, ya va a terminar, no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep that. One more time to practice and then we're going to go back, okay? Information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. Okay, classmate. Perfect. Okay. We're going Thank okay. You, I think you have already okay. <laughs> Vamos a difundir un mensajito. Give me one second. Okay. Time to go back. Jesus Christ, it's like this. Okay, just to alert your classmate. Okay, vámonos a la sala principal que ya las quiero escuchar. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, they were canceled today. Uh, canceled. Ajá, o sea, no canceled. es con la L, sino que es con la D. Ajá, canceled today. Uh, today. Ok. Canceled. Ok, cool. Uh, let me see. I'm going to play it on the manual because I want to listen to you guys before you go home. Oh, actually, before you, you disconnect yourself because you are at home already. Uh, Elizabeth, since you are going to leave exactly at 10, uh, I'm going to start with you, okay? Este, solo tengo una duda con la palabra donde inicia. John. Reschedule, okay. ¿Cuál? Ris Ajá, esa palabra. Ah, reschedule. Reschedule. El acento más que todo o la fuerza de voz va en medio. Reschedule. Reschedule. Exactly. Reschedule. Teacher, eh, ¿puede decirlo sin el res? ¿O sin el re? Reschedule. You mean schedule? Schedule. Schedule. Schedule es programar algo, agendar algo. Reschedule. Reschedule es, Reschedule. es reagendar algo. Yes. Okay, okay. 
Ya, yeah, uh, schedule, schedule también es programación. Eh, digamos que usted pone en una lista todo lo que va a hacer en un día. That's an schedule, okay. como una, un programa. Ok. Yeah, about the things that you got gonna do. Cool. Elizabeth, who were you working with? You were with Carlos and uh, I don't remember. Liliana. Ah, Liliana. Okay. Liliana. Perfecto. Entonces, démosle. Ok. Uh, I am young. Um, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients and you. Um, well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interest interesting. 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 Yeah. Very good. Ahora yo sería John y Liliana sería. And yes. Okay. And is there some time you need to do tomorrow? Something. 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 Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. Clients? Clients in you. Well, I have to risk get you to meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Now finish it, Liliana. Now you're going to become John. Is there some time? Something. Something. Something you need to do tomorrow? Things and Carlos. Yes, actually, I need to call some client than you. Will I have a tour yeah. question to make into for tomorrow? They were canceled today. Oh, that's that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information oh, to some customer. That sounds interesting. All right, that sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Thank you, Elizabeth, Carlos, and Liliana. You did it excellent. Now, Rafa? Yes, no, yeah. yes you got a 10. Nice. Solo recuerden, este es something. Sometimes or sometime es con time al final. Time. Sometime. Sometime. Okay. Cool. cool. Mm. Me, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, John. Um, Rudy and. Okay. okay, go. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Rafa and Rudy. You did it excellent. Now, uh, Carmina. Uh, with, I am John. Liliana. I mean, with Evelyn, uh, right? Evelyn, Evelyn. 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 It's John. Uh, I am John. Let's go. Okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. 
Actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule to meetings for tomorrow. They were cancelled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Interesting. Okay. That sounds interesting. Okay. Sounds good. Interesting. interesting. Okay, very good. Thank you, Evelyn, and thank you, Armina. You did it excellent. Okay. Now, Fredis and uh, Mrs. Maria. Isabel. Yes, teacher. The center <laughs> <of> la patria. <laughs> what? What? Se <laughs> salieron los colores. Permítame. Permítame la permítame la voy, la voy a sacar de la sesión. <laughs> no, 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 let's go. Yes, ¿quién quiere ser, María? Eh, okay. John o Ana. Freddy no quiere ser Ana. Cualquiera. Las dos, oh. los dos se preguntarán lo mismo. <risa> All right, ok. Usted es yo. Yo soy. Okay. Dice Freddy, ¿qué quiere ser? El millonaria, le dice María. <risa> por favor, por favor. Si no tengo que ir a trabajar. <risa> Let's go. <risa> ok, And Freddy. Is there something, something you need to do tomorrow? Oh. Yes, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They will cancel it today. Um, oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some, some customer. That sounds interesting. That sounds Sound. interesting. Sounds. That sounds Sounds interesting. Yes, sounds interesting. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Isabel and Fredis. You did it excellent. Now, uh, Wilbur, who are you practicing with? <clears throat> with, with Liz. And me. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Con la, con la Matrix. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wilbur and you, John. Okay. Okay. Anne, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and do. Well, I had to reschedule to to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh. oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That. So interesting. That sounds interesting. Sound, sound, sound. Interesting. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, people. Let me see who else is missing before we leave. Miguel, did you practice already, Miguel? Not right. Yes, with uh, Leticia and Marvin. Ah, okay, cool. Let's go. Yes. Um, uh, Sria, um, uh, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some client. And you? Well, I have to reschedule uh, two meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Yes, it's all. That sounds interesting. Okay, cool. That's all. <laughs> Let me see who who's who's in here. I mean, you were the only ones, right? Uh, I think nobody's missing. Everybody has already participated on this thing. Cool. Before we go, people. ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas? Everything is okay. Very good. 
<ríe> Abre tengo llamas a revisar. Ok, tú. No, uh, hoy les va a caer discusión. De hecho, ya voy a subir esa cosa. La discussion, igual, usando uh, have to and need to como parte de, digamos, una extra practice eh, con relación a este tema. Eh, voy a poner algunas preguntitas ahí que me gustaría que las respondan, por favor. Ok. Y, y les voy a poner un espacio y que igual eh, una indicación para que me, me hagan por lo menos... Dos preguntitas ahí, usando have to, all right, ya sea en primera o tercera persona para ver si, si vamos, bueno, comprendimos realmente cómo, cómo crear este tipo de preguntas, ok, en la sección de discussions, eh, eh, en la platform, en la platform. Sí, lo pensaba hacer en WhatsApp, pero creo que nos llenaríamos mucho de mensajes, así que eh, esperen en la platform, all right. Teacher. Yes. Could you send us the presentation? Mm. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, which was the last presentation I sent you? ¿Cuál fue la última presentación que les mandé? I don't remember. Uh, creo que la... I sent one, two, three, and four. Me falta... Me, me falta la tres y la cuatro, porque la cuatro no la pude abrir yo. No sé ¿Vale? si la, la puede reenviar, la tres y la cuatro. Va, voy a enviarla desde la... Tres, en la, desde la tres hasta la nueve, entonces. Okay, good. Los que Thank ya you. tengan previamente, se lo den en skip y solo de pueden descargar las que las que les falten, ok. There you go. So I'm gonna pass the attendance list and then we're gonna leave. Ah, recuerden, para mañana eh, ya finalizaremos eh, la semana 2. Ok, voy a decir esto en español. Necesito eh, sí o sí eh, las tareas hasta la 10, ok, y el examen. El midterm, que, que me lo terminen, por favor, ¿ok? Ya lo tengo yo. Ok. Perfect, perfect. There you go. Mañana todavía se puede terminar el midterm, teacher. Sí, claro que sí. Con tal no, no, no pase de mañana. <ríe> ok. Teacher. Isabel pidiéndome prórroga. <ríe> ok, <ríe> no problem. Ajá. Este, ¿Cuándo comienza el tercer módulo? ¿O cuánto es el intermedio de tiempo? ¿Cómo así? Porque, es decir, finalizamos el segundo. Ah, el módulo número 3. No, ahí va a depender, va a depender de la, a, digamos, de, de recursos humanos de sus empresas. A todos nos va a aplazar, ¿verdad? Eh, <risa> claro que no. Listen, eh, creo que ya a partir de esta segunda semana, finalizando esta segunda y la tercera semana, empiezan a mandar correos los de los corporativos con nuestra información. Entonces, ahí ya va a depender de recursos humanos de sus empresas eh, con qué prontitud envíen su información, ¿ok? Porque si envían okay. planilla o no sé qué, qué más, no, no estoy muy al tanto de esto, eh, entre más rápido sea y colectan toda la información, eh, ya luego se arma un paquete y ese paquete es enviado al Insafor. Eh, y pues luego lo único que se tarda es como... Ocho, ocho o nueve días hábiles o laborales eh, para ya dar apertura al curso. Entonces, entre más rápido sean, posiblemente estemos iniciando chu, 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 o a finales o a principios del otro mes, ya el módulo 3. Sería con usted, Tichel, el tercero. Mm, no le sabría decir. A veces he tenido uh, uh, cursos que sí, desde módulo 1, a veces me han cambiado de grupo en módulo 2, he dado otro módulo, luego en módulo 3 vuelvo a tener el mismo grupo y a veces, a veces es módulo 3, 4, 5 y 6 junto, juntos de un solo. Pero ahí eh, dependen, ahí dependiendo, ¿no? Ahí no, no, digamos que nosotros no sabemos manejar eso. Okay. Igual cuando les envíen ya la información, ahí les va a aparecer el nombre de su facilitador. ¿Quién va a ser? All right. So, okay. I'm gonna pretty sure with that. Okay. Cool. So, I'm gonna pass the attendance list and then we leave, okay? Cool. Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Augusto Cesar is not here. Uh, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Nice. Elizabeth Joanna. I think she left already. I am and she was feeling bad. She left. Uh, Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Okay, cool. Freddy Celiceo, he left already. 
Freddy Ernesto, he's there. It is Daniela. I think she got connected, but she's working kind of like that. Jacqueline is not here. Karin Janet. I think she got problems. Ah, Karim, eh, eh, respóndame por mensaje. Vea que con usted estuvo el viernes. Ok, perfect. Thank you, Karim. Uh, Liliana Laura. Con usted también estuve, ¿verdad, Liliana? On uh, feedback. Ok, cool. Yes, yeah, sí. <laughs> Present. Good night, teacher. Ok, good night. Sí, me falta, o sea, la primera que me pasé a la, a la otra, al otro grupo. <risa> Exacto. Bueno, la hora que hay con María Isabel. So, Present teacher. Se va a reír, Isabel, no. desde ya. Teacher, <risa> mañana me tengo que levantar a las 4 de la mañana. Ya no. Relax. Yeah. You're going to see like, like, uh, just a couple of minutes. All right. No la voy a tener hasta medianoche. Relax. María Leticia. Present teacher. Nice. Marvin Oswaldo. I am in. Good night, Marvin. Okay. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nice. Rafael Alejandro. Present teacher. Rudy Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Cool. Sonia Elizabeth. I am in. She's there. I mean, she got problems with the internet. Present teacher. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. And the last one will San Arnaldo, which is not here anymore. Okay, cool. Thank you for getting connected tonight, people. It was a pleasure. See you tomorrow in the last video conference on week number two. Okay. Bye bye, Isabel. Bye. 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 Bless you. Bless you for you too. Portense bien. Thank you, <laughs> Okay, bye bye. Pare de sufrir, Isabel. No, teacher, ya. Grite, fue ¿Por qué se acabó el sábado? ¿Por qué se acabó el domingo? <laughs> oh my God, believe me. Yo digo así como que no, no quiero que venga el sábado, no quiero que venga el domingo. Demasiado trabajo. Exactly. La vida de adultos y nosotros de niños queriendo ser adultos. Ay, sí, bueno, qué deseos más turbios teníamos, ¿verdad? Ay, <ríe> Too many responsibilities. Okay. Cool. No, eh, este par de minutos nada más es para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a los temas que hemos estado viendo eh, desde la clase 1. All right. Okay. Or if something is wrong with the platform, eh, any kind of question that you might have. Uh, this is time for you to ask, okay? Eh, para eso es que necesitamos este tiempo. No sé si tiene algún tipo de duda con alguna estructura que hemos estado discutiendo anteriormente. Algo que no haya quedado sí, o claro. Sinceramente, en la de hoy, pero por, por los motivos que no, mm. no pude estar 100% oh. en la clase. Oh. Pero creo que la pregunta que hice no estuvo tan mal. O sea, por mano <ríe> estructurada. No sabría decirle ah, por qué. No, 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 en realidad sí tiene razón. Este, este, ese viene siendo casi lo mismo con relación a las preguntas positivas. Va, miren, solo que para este tipo de estructuras hay como, le voy a enseñar un pequeño truco, miren. Siempre, si vamos a preguntar una pregunta abierta, vamos a hacer una pregunta abierta. Tiene que iniciar con ya sea what, what time, where, uh, when, why, o who, por así decirlo. Dependiendo de lo que usted vaya a preguntar, ¿ok? Después de eso, tenga en consideración que va a usar ya sea do o ya sea okay. does. Do, si es en primera persona o plural, da si es tercera persona. Ok, entonces acá yo puedo poner you o puedo poner he si, es, si, es, si fuese tercera persona. Ok, después de este. Ah, sí, eso es lo que me iba a preguntar, no había entendido. 
porque es... poníamos you, entonces, pero dije, ok, pensa por qué. Y medio, medio amarré las ideas. Cuando yo les pregunte o yo les diga, hey, háganme una pregunta en primera persona. En primera persona es cuando usamos el you. ¿Por qué? Porque es directamente hacia una persona que usted se está dirigiendo para hacerle la pregunta. ¿Ok? Por eso es que usamos el you. Y luego en tercera ya usamos he, she, it o cualquier otro nombre. Después de este, ya después de esto así, es donde se utiliza la estructura. Que en este caso, en toda pregunta va a ser have to. No vamos a usar has to. Solo have to en la pregunta. Aunque sea, uh, en, aunque sea tercera. Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque en tercera persona yeah. usamos das. Ya yeah. va modificado. Entonces ya no hay mm. necesidad de modificar este. Mm. ¿Ok? Y después del have to. Recuerde que ese have to solo es para denotar obligación. Tener que. Pero luego de ese have to necesitamos un verbo. Que nos indique la acción. ¿Ok? Good. Uh -huh. uh, acá podemos poner, por ejemplo, uh, ¿qué? Drive. Drive. Por At work. To work. To work. Sí. Vaya, mire. Y aquí ya tenemos una base para la, la pregunta y ya tenemos así. Vaya. Okay. Entonces podemos decir, what time, a qué horas, do you have to drive? To work. ¿A qué horas tienes que manejar para el trabajo? You see? Y ya tiene la pregunta formulada. Ok. ¿Qué time do you have to try to work? Ok. Pero es... yo, yo siempre he tenido un problema. Ajá. Yo soy bastante penosa por hablar. Pero mi esposo habla inglés, entonces ah, yo, bueno. yo, yo le entiendo muchas de las cosas que dice, pero cuando yo las digo, no me salen bien. Es falta de práctica. Eso es todo. Simple y sencillamente eh, la falta de práctica. Porque yo en mi cabeza puedo eh, right. ganar la oración. Exactly. Pero al momento ya de producirla, de, se desordena, se olvida <risa> las palabras. Eso <risa> es lo que me pasó hoy con la respuesta. Exactly. Eso siempre pasa. Pero es normal. En el proceso de aprendizaje es normal porque es que nosotros vamos memorizando vocabulario, pero en sí cuando no le damos una práctica constante a ese vocabulario digamos que al inicio se torna así, que usted entiende lo que dice alguien más, pero al momento de usted hablar, se bloquea y que no puede y ya luego al final usted analizando ya viene y dice ay, pero yo pude, pude decir esta palabra al momento se me olvidó, pero ah, yo la sé, pero se me olvidó en ese momento. Es parte del aprendizaje. Entonces, sí, si es, usted es, 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 vaya, como su esposo, uh -huh. hablar inglés, uh -huh. pues aunque sea un par de minutos de práctica con él, no estaría en nada mal. Créame que a veces 10, 15 minutos de práctica, eso ayuda a que poco a poco uh -huh. nos vayamos familiarizando con las palabras y vayamos poniéndolas en práctica. Ya poco a poco, esas palabras que tanto nos están costando ahorita, salen solitas. Sí, porque un día de estos me dice, vaya, te voy a preguntar verbos. Quiero que me diga verbos. Yo te lo voy a decir en español y tú me lo tienes que decir en inglés. Uh -huh. Y empezó, yo empecé a decir, y me quedé sorprendida porque, digo, ¿cómo me sé tanto verbo? Pero a la hora de que estoy en clases... No me sé uh -huh. ninguno. No me sé ninguno, exactamente. Exacto. Es por lo mismo, es por no practicarlos. Usted okay. los viene acá, pero no los produce porque, o sea, falta práctica para eso. Falta okay. práctica. Luego, uh -huh. es que ahorita ustedes están en una etapa de, ah, el teacher me dijo algo en inglés. Cool. Una pregunta y está. Esta pregunta, por ejemplo, uh -huh. yo sé que usted lo hizo de esta manera. Si yo puse la pregunta, what time did you have to drive to work? Usted vino y esa pregunta la tradujo. Ahora, sí. si yo le digo, deme la respuesta a esa pregunta, su cerebro automáticamente se activa 
y empieza a desglosar toda la res posible respuesta en español y luego se torna pa, 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 a traducir todo eso al inglés. Exactamente, exactamente. Usted, usted está haciendo un doble trabajo acá. Uh -huh. Su cerebro está trabajando más de lo normal. ¿Por qué? Porque está, rece está recibiendo, traduciendo. Ahora, genial. Ahora, pensá en esta respuesta. Ya está, cool. Ahora traducí esta Traducí exactamente. Entonces, eso es parte del proceso. Al inicio, va a llegar un momento en el que va a decir usted, si yo le digo, hey, Isabel, what time do you have to go to work? Usted automáticamente la va a captar y va a decir, ah, me to go to work at, y ya, pam, una hora en específico. Y va a decir, ¿cómo es que hice eso? Sin traducir. Uh -huh. Uno llega a ese momento, uno llega a ese momento en que dice, ya no necesité traducirlo. Es como que yo diga ahorita, hello, Isabel. Usted automáticamente ya sabe que hello es hola y con lo mismo usted me lo devuelve un hello y ya. Usted no necesita traducir eso. Porque ya no. lo necesita. Entonces, así es en inglés. O sea, créame que llega un punto en que uno se sorprende y dice, ya no necesito estar haciendo doble trabajo. Pero obviamente eso poco a poco se va a ganar y pues no. una ventaja que tiene alguien que puede practicar con, con esa persona sí. y sacarle un poco de provecho. Y me va a contar que en un par de meses más, si lo continúa haciendo, va a ver el gran cambio que va a tener. Okay. Poco a poco se va a ir soltando más. Ok. Teacher, una pregunta. Sí. Usted vea bien lo que yo estoy haciendo es como armando pequeñas oraciones y las pego, por ejemplo, en el espejo, las pego... Okay el baño, eh, cuando estoy cambiando a, a mi hijo, empezamos, ¿cómo se dice camisa? ¿Cómo se dice me pongo la camisa en inglés? Y, y estamos como Exacto. haciéndolo. Eso, Pero digo yo, no hay nadie que me corría, no sé si lo estoy haciendo. That's true. Oh, bueno, en ese caso, ajá, si usted, va, usted está indecisa en algo, o le pregunta a su esposa, o puede preguntarme a mí sin ningún inconveniente. Let me. Okay. Yeah, tienes opción. Pero en adelante, okay. si usted tiene dudas en algo, mándeme un mensaje. Hey, teacher, ¿esto está correcto? Y yo le, le puedo dar el aval si sí o no. ¿No sé? Perfecto. No, okay. 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 Sí, porque muchas veces... Es una muy buena eh, ha sido que estamos, ok, vamos a cocinar algo, pero... Y empezamos como a decir todos los ingredientes en, en inglés y cositas. Ah. Entonces, sí, es como... Pero sí, como se dice, yo lo traduzco todo en mi cabeza, la pregunta, y veo, ok, respuesta. En español así, esto, esto, eso, ok. Ahora en inglés. Entonces, cuando, cuando yo contesto, tengo mi respuesta en inglés y mi respuesta. Exactly. Eso es lo que suele suceder, sí. Uh -huh. Pero ahí, como digo, most, more practice. Most practice. Ok. All right? Ok. There you go. Ok. Entonces, perfecto. Así okay. que, entonces, ok. Thank you, teacher. Un poco más. Ok, there you go. Entonces, hoy sí. Let's go to, let's go to bed, ok. <laughs> Try to go to bed. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow, Isabel. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Ah, teacher. Mañana yeah. sí voy a estar como oyente. No voy a participar en eso. Ok, no problem. Al final de su nombre ahí pone, like, oyente, and that's it, ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. There you go. Bye bye. Okay.